Agora TV. The world is thinking. Um, some of the most ridiculous ones. Yoga is still on the list. It is shocking about. I think the thing that's killed me the most about yoga that's changed is that it seems like there's never a time when it's not appropriate for a white woman to be wearing yoga clothing. <laughs> Like every day, it doesn't matter. It's like yoga clothing. It's like you're gonna do yoga at the drop of a hat. So that's gotten a little ridiculous. <laughs> and to be honest, it also frustrates me when I find out all the, the, these white women who open yoga studios and turn a profit and make a lot of money doing it. And I'm like, that just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> that one's ridiculous. Uh, fixed gear bicycles is absolutely ridiculous. The fact that white people are riding around on these bikes with no front brake. And they're thinking, oh, it's, it's just, it's for control, man. I'm like, really? Adding like a brake that weighs like 400 grams is because of control? Well, have fun hitting the side of a streetcar. Uh, that's, that's ridiculous. We're endangering your lives for vanity is unbelievable. And then uh, the other one, this is in the new book, is raw milk. I don't know if this trend has hit Australia yet, but white people are now trying to buy milk directly from the cow's udder without pasteurization. And it's... It's illegal in the United States. So white people are gathering on street corners in Brooklyn to be given raw milk from illicit milk dealers. <laughs> we are really doing this, you know what I mean? And it's that, and then that also ties into the other ridiculous one is where white people don't vaccinate their children. Uh, this is a new thing they like. So apparently we want to die from contaminated milk and polio. <laughs> for no logical reason whatsoever. It, it, it's like the 19th century, you know, all those people that didn't die? Fuck you, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> as white people, it's our right to die the way our ancestors did, and it, it blows my mind. This is the same way I feel about camping, by the way, which is, sorry, there's a lot of things I'm angry about. I, uh, I, I hate camping with a passion because I think anytime you camp, you're literally spitting in the face of your ancestors because they died to get out of nature. They were like, this is a hell hole. There are bears here. We're pooping in the ground. There's nothing to eat. This is terrible. And we're gonna go right back in? No, unacceptable. My ancestors left that and I'm not going back.